Why Tesla Solar sucks. That's a big statement. Let's check out this video on the Tesla space. Deal with Tesla Solar. There was a time not that long ago when Tesla Solar Energy Generation was thought of as a major pillar of the company business model. But if you look at things today, even as Tesla continues to grow rapidly in terms of size and value, it would appear that solar has just kind of fizzled out into nothing. Getting to the truth of the matter proved to be a much more complicated process than we'd expected, which actually helped a lot in understanding the struggle that Tesla has experienced in the world of solar energy. It's just not as easy or simple as you would think. Throughout 2023, there was a continuous narrative coming from Tesla that solar was in decline due to circumstances beyond the company's control. In Q1 2023, it was volatile weather and supply chain issues. In Q2, it was high interest rates. In Q3, it was the end of net metering in California. In Q4, it was interest rates combined with people not buying solar panels in the fall and winter. Then 2024 comes around and something changes about Tesla's earnings reports. They had always had a line item on the operational summary for solar deployed in megawatts. The last one was published in Q4 2023 and it basically showed the solar division collapsing towards zero. But then in Q1 2024, the solar deployed line was gone. Also, gone was the specific heading for solar under the quarterly highlights report. Instead for Q1 2024, solar was referenced once in the text on energy generation and storage. Uh, let's see how it was referenced and driven by increased mega pack deployments partially offset by the decrease in solar deployments. Yeah, so one sentence, yeah. Only to say that a further decrease in solar deployments had been eating into Tesla energy profits that were driven by mega pack deployments. That's mm. the grid scale energy storage product at Tesla, which is a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that makes sense. And I, I think they had to change direction, which makes sense. Of course, they didn't come out and say we changed direction. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's much of a big deal because... Ah, well, I was about to say the Apple car never really came out and said, hey, man, we killed the actual, you know, research and development because it didn't pan out. But they didn't make big announcements about it. But at the end of the day, some products and some services don't work out. And I think the solar, yeah, it definitely was a great product. But I think that it just has to wait for a bit. And especially let's just put our attention on the mega pack. I think that's the most important thing right now. And then when people are ready to turn their house into virtual plants, and then you could bring back the solar. But, you know, anybody can give you solar products. Um, not quite like the solar roof products, which is, you know, the solar embedded inside of the tile for the roof. But at the end of the day, people can get solars from anywhere, solar panels at least. And, of course, I'm pretty sure there's other people to do solar roofs integrated into the actual roof tile. But again, I think it's just best to focus on the mega pack, the mega factory, scaling that, ramping it. The margins are extremely good versus actually trying to implement those in people's houses. But of course, that's pretty hard because, you know, you got the power wall and the power wall is pretty cool. Um, power wall can actually be utilized mobily too. So that's very interesting. So I think just the solar operation just needs to hang in the back a little bit until it really gets adopted on the actual customer side. The B2B and then the you know B2G, which would be the government, right? Or the public entity. That's very good. I think we just need to focus on those sectors versus the targeting of actual customers right now in their homes. People are crying about their homes already, let alone actually doing solar roofs and trying to do construction of it and outfitting it. Then you gotta find the right companies and blah, blah, blah. Booming business right now. Following that, solar became nothing more than a footnote in the quarterly reports, referenced only in the really nerdy sections of the financial documents, which basically showed a steady reduction in company assets associated with solar energy and a negative cash flow associated with the entire division. Ostensibly, this is what we are trying to figure out. What happened there? Did the company simply give up? Did they fail? Does Tesla just suck at doing solar energy? In theory, they should be doing a lot better at this. And that's because in 2016, Tesla spent $2.6 billion to acquire their solar energy division. They bought out an existing provider called SolarCity. Now, you've probably heard that name before because SolarCity was founded by two of Elon Musk's cousins, Peter and Lyndon Rive, brothers who were also born in South Africa. A lot of people think that Elon Musk founded SolarCity. Technically, he did not, but Elon did figure out a way to ghost found the company. Basically, he gave the Rive brothers the idea and the money, and Elon also served as chairman of the board for SolarCity. That all happened back in 2006. SolarCity was relatively successful for the next decade until they were acquired by Tesla in 2016 for a sum of $2.6 billion. This was a controversial move for obvious reasons. So there's a lot of hearsay involved. But what we know is that in June 2023, the Delaware Supreme Court made a final ruling that Elon Musk did not push Tesla's board into overpaying for SolarCity. Case closed. That doesn't mean it wasn't sketchy, but it definitely was not illegal. And then following that court ruling, Q4 2023, would be seemingly the last time that Tesla would report on the status of their solar division. So 
they gave up? Well, no. Well, hold on. Pause out. You know, I don't know what he's trying to draw. He's just giving you guys information, but definitely the Tesla power wall, the lithium batteries for the storage and the actual software is still operational in Tesla today. And they acquired that from Solar City. So let's not make sure. I know the word is solar, but solar is more than just the solar panels. It came with other things too, like a, a battery. Oh, they didn't. The opposite, really. In just the past year, Tesla has published four very high production value marketing videos to their YouTube account that feature Tesla Solar. Typically, this promotion is done in combination with the Tesla Powerwall energy storage product, but Tesla is definitely still putting a lot of effort and money into selling solar panels. These videos were clearly not cheap to make, but we did still notice something was a bit off. In all of the three most recent videos, the product being highlighted is a conventional rooftop solar panel, not a Tesla solar roof. So what's the difference? Well, going back yet again to the Solar City acquisition days, Elon was touting these amazing new solar panels that looked almost identical to roofing shingles. This was a key justification for moving Tesla into the solar business. A False. 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 Again, people are always trying to draw conclusions. Like, bro, the word is solar. Yes, Solar City offered battery backup system for the residential solar. Tesla Power Powerwall. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me just put this on the big screen so y'all can see it. Solar City offered battery backup services that included the Tesla Power Wall and then a home battery that stores energy from the solar power system. The power wall could provide backup power during outages and could be recharged by solar power. Lithium ion battery. Solar City began offering battery packs made by Tesla Motors in 2013. And these batteries were the same lithium ion batteries that powered Tesla's electric vehicles, but were reconfigured for stationary use. And then grid or excuse me, Grid Logic Software. In 2016, Solar City installed Grid Logic Software and Tesla Powerwall battery packs in 500 California homes to test the grid backup resources. Solar City also planned to include battery backup systems with every rooftop solar power system within five to 10 years. So there was just more than actually just the solar panels for the roof. Again, he's trying to act like that's the only thing that Solar City offered was just that that you see here on the screen. Wait, hold on, let me bring it up. Like, it's not only the roof tile, that was just something that was new, that was something to highlight for people. Unique and revolutionary new product that would accelerate the world towards sustainable energy. Now, whatever Elon was holding in his hand that day when he announced this product, it was not actually a solar panel. Tesla had a great idea, and they likely had a product in development, but at the time Elon was making his bold predictions, there was no functional Tesla solar roof. In fairness, they did figure it out, kind of, but not really. So here is something that Elon Musk repeats fairly often. This idea that it's relatively easy to build just about anything at a very high cost and a very low quantity. Manufacturing only gets difficult when you're trying to produce the largest amount for the lowest price. Tesla definitely... That's facts. That's not something Elon says. That's just manufacturing. ...does make a solar roof. And by most accounts of people who have one, it's a fantastic product that works as advertised. But the actual number of houses that have been equipped with the solar roof has been notoriously small. There is no... Those are two different things. ...official number. Those are two different things. Like, you know, whether it sells or not doesn't mean that the product sucks. That means it sucks at selling, but it means that it's not sucky or a sucky product. Especially Americans. I don't think they even care about such things. They barely take care of their homes, let alone to actually get solar roofs and make an investment in their home. I just think Americans are just not financially literate. So they can't make a, that type of investment in their home. They've barely got enough money saved for an emergency fund. I think Americans suck at finances. So it's just something that they can't do because they're economically retarded. Facts on the street. Some reports it's at least 3,000, but almost certainly less than 10,000. Some combination of availability and price seems to be the limiting factor here. In July 2023, Tesla settled a $6 million class action lawsuit with their prospective solar roof customers. The lawsuit came as the result of a surprise price increase to many solar roof order holders who had signed contracts but were still waiting to receive their installation. In many cases, Tesla jacked up the quoted price by nearly 100%, which left customers justifiably pissed off. We know from... Yeah, welcome to construction. Like, you know, things change and... And then they get sued and they got their money. So whatever that happens with every business, everybody acts like, yo, there's a name one company that never had a lawsuit. From the lawsuit documents that over 8,500 customers of the Tesla solar roof were affected by the 2021 price hike. Now we don't know what percentage of total order holders that accounts for, but it demonstrates that at this moment in time, there was significant demand for the product. 
According to the same lawsuit, more than 6,300 of those customers made the decision to cancel their Tesla contracts as a result of the price change. Elon Musk chalked this up to mistakes made in assessing the construction needs, telling investors, quote, some roofs are to be literally two or three times easier than other roofs. If a roof has a lot of protuberances, or if the core structure of the roof is rotted out or is not strong enough to hold the solar roof, then the cost can be double, sometimes three times what our initial quotes were. So if we look at the company's most recent- Yeah, bro. Like that is, yeah, it, it's definitely a complex thing to do. Like I've been in construction for years, guys. <laughs> Projects that cost 300 million. We're going to build an embassy in X country for 300 million. The budget ends up coming out at the end of the project and it was 700 million. Like I remember we were building out an embassy in Tel Aviv and then it was like, here's the order. And the order's not easy. Like once we get the blueprints and everything's actually sent down range to build out the embassy and a lot of the equipment is protected. So it has to go through this, you know, proprietary chain of custody. And once it arrived, there's a process for everything. Certain things have to be installed by a certain time limit. We get there, they bust open the concrete or, you know, start jacking away at the asphalt. And then they find that the rebars rotted away because of the salt water coming from the ocean or from the sea. Now they got to reconfigure everything, send requests back to DC, restructure the budgeting, lawyers get involved. It takes like three months just to get an answer and then a new game plan. Then the architects have to go in, but they're not the same as the general contractor. So we got to wait for a different company to finish the architecture drawing with the new changes and the revisions. It's ridiculous. So again, people came, roof looking crazy. There's rotten problems. Things need to be changed underneath of the structure of the roof. Like, oh man. It, it, it's just something not worth getting into. Like housing and construction is ridiculous. That's why their margins are so long, little. In promotion of the solar roof product that was in December, 2023, they released one of their highly produced videos that featured the solar roof in the context of a new subdivision where houses were being built with the solar roof and power wall integrated during the construction phase, which in that sounds better. Hindsight is probably the best way to implement a product like this. Now, going back to those conventional solar. Yeah, exactly. Let's stop the whole thing. Guys, yeah, that sounds like the best bet. I think Tesla, it's best at just, hey, we'll do solar roofs for only new homes. Outside of that, don't do no old homes, man. You go up there on the roof, somebody house is all busted and disgusted. Now they're able to get the drop on you and sue you. Regardless of the actual particulars of the case, I highly doubt that Tesla was trying to monopolize the situation and get a hundred bands out of people. That's just construction. If I could run around suing all the construction workers because they quoted me at one price and then the price changed, but you could do that on big companies. Like, look, man, they all try to jack us. And it's like, nah, man, your roof is all dodgy. You know what I'm saying? Your roof was leaking. Your goddamn HVAC system has been dripping into the foundation of the roof. Like, man, it's just crazy. And so at the end of the day, it's just too many things that could come up as a problem when you're dealing with that. So it's best to have a policy of new build homes. That's it. And I think that's a better business model at that point. And even then there could still be problems. So <laughs> shout outs to Tesla, just trying to make it happen. And why does a Tesla solar suck? Definitely due to the construction alone and the solar panels, okay? There's a whole business behind solar panels. There's batteries, there's software systems. So again, even though Elon showed you on the stage the new product, that's because that's a new product. The battery's been a battery. There's nothing new. There's been software for to operate the actual system. The thing that was really new was having the solar integrated into the roof tiling, not placing solar panels on a roof, having two different products, having one. So that's why he spent a lot of time talking about that, not because that's the only thing that mattered people education anyways everyone hates tesla or at least tries to come up with a reason to hate tesla i'll see you in the next one like share subscribe hit the notification bell so you guys can get this hot electricity every time i drop this heat i'll catch you on the next one